All right, YouTube, it's me again. I'm still on my quest to become a YouTube super mutant. And I have a new idea. I'm gonna try doing videos about the paranormal. So this week, we're gonna be talking about chupacabras. But what is a chupacabra? You might ask. It's a small, actually large, large, very large, big, scary, goblin-like creature from Mexico and Puerto Rico and stuff. It's got big, scary eyes and bioluminescent spines. In Spanish, its name means goat sucker because it sucks the blood out of goats. That's pretty fucking black metal. But, what sets my Chupacabra video apart from all the other videos of Chupacabras? Well, I have photographic evidence and an eyewitness testimony. First, let's get to the evidence. So what you're looking at here is your basic model Chupacabra. You see the fangs, the claws, the oddly luminescent eyes. Certainly a very frightening creature. Definitely not something I'd want to run up on in a dark alley or out in the hills and woods of Mexico. Up next we have a more recent photograph of a chupacabra. This one is clear evidence that they are now starting to infest urban areas as well as rural ones, so that's a major problem. This one appears to be quite a bit larger than the uh, prior chupacabra, so I would keep a lookout for that. Here we have a chupacabra in more of its natural habitat. On this one you can really see the row of bioluminescent spines sticking out of its back, the fangs, the odd scaly skin. Here's another picture of a uh, chupacabra. This one appears to be indoor, so I'm assuming this is one of those last photos found in the camera of someone who was mauled. Certainly very frightening. But what a lot of people don't know about chupacabras is that they are now starting to evolve and spread. Earlier I showed you evidence of an urban chupacabra, but would you believe that there are Aquatic chupacabras, such as this one, appears to be in some sort of suburban, above-ground pool, attempting to uh, pilfer a dog toy from an unsuspecting canine. So clearly a horrendous situation. But even more frightening than that is the newly discovered flying chupacabra, which is clearly a very hideous creature. You can see this uh, the guy holding it up has to be pretty swole to hang on to that monstrosity. You're definitely very ugly suckers. I would assume that most of you are probably irrevocably horrified by now. But for those of you who are brave enough to stick around, coming up, we have actual eyewitness testimony from someone who was menaced by a flying chupacabra. But first, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Do you have problems with broads giving you lip? Would you please leave me alone? You fucking whore. Are you menaced by fatalists who are a little light in the lopus? And some of the diseases I have, like I said, they don't know what they are. Well, I've got the solution for you. Hi, it's me, Joey from New Jersey. And I got a new book out called Dago Method. With my years of experience in disarming people with insults and Louisville sluggers to the kneecaps, I can change you from a zero into a champion. To order my book, call 1-800-A-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF-FAGOT. Welcome back to our investigation into the paranormal world of Chupacabras. For your listening pleasure, or rather, displeasure, we have an eyewitness account of someone whose cousin was abducted by a flying chupacabra. So, homie, it's Hernandez here. I came here to tell you my eyewitness account of the chupacabra homes. So me and my bro, cousin Carlos, we were walking in the field one day after school, I said, you know what I mean? We're going to the store to get some fresh modelos, you know what I mean? 
then all of a sudden, man, we hear these screeching, we hear this 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 honking in the sky, homie. And we're like, holy shit, what the hell's going on? And I said, he looks at me like he's crazy, homie. Then all of a sudden, we see one of the flying triple bubble motherfuckers come down and pick him up. And they, oh my god, I had a heart attack, I say. But I wasn't too worried, because I owed Carlos like $15 anyway, so it wasn't no big deal if he got killed, you know what I mean, I say. But it was terrifying, you know what I mean? The Grupo Gabo was going honk, 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 and the last words, my cousin Carlos was, Hey, Dios mío! It was terrifying, I say. I haven't seen him since, I swear to God. Truly a horrifying story. Tune in next time for whenever I do another video. Uh, see you around, I guess.